Hello guys, Mikey back here, and I've got a lot to show you guys. I've done a lot of work off camera. Work's been really busy, so I haven't had a chance to upload a lot this week, but I thought I'd do a quick update here before I got too far ahead. Um, so let's get started. First, we'll start outside. I've created this. It looks ugly. I completely, I will admit that right up front. Um, but it's nice for now, it's just for practical uses. Um, oh, another quick thing here real quick. I have a jetpack finally. Let me turn on hover mode. So I do have that. What this is is a box. A couple boxes, obviously. Uh, inside of these I have a witch spawner in each box. And conveyor belts. And if you look in here, the witches come up here to those iron spikes on the conveyor belts. They get killed. This vacuum hopper picks it up and puts everything in this chest. It's a good source of glowstone, redstone, gunpowder, a little bit of rotten flesh for some weird reason. Um, another thing right here, this is a filing cabinet which can store a ton of one particular item. So I decided to do loot bags. You can see I have so many. I'm never going to go through them, but I have them. And up here, using a filter, all these items that I really don't need are going into a trash can, which put an item in there and delete. Um, so there's that. On the house, I've done a little bit more work here. I don't know how much I did last time as far as filling in walls and stuff, but um, this time, I've got a roof idea marked out here. This is going to be glass, and I'm going to have some solar panels up here. Um, here's just a skeleton of it, what it's going to look like. Here, I don't know if I did this last time, these flowers are the ones that collect coal from Batania and move into this machine right here, this little mana spreader. I don't know if I, I don't have any coal. Let me grab some real quick. I don't want to spoil inside. Okay, so you throw these here. Those flowers will eat those. And then fire mana into that pool. Which I showed you guys last time. Mana you can use for a lot of things. Um, I need a little water well so I can have a water source here. Inside, guys, looks a lot different. I moved everything to this back wall here. Um, I had everything in chest right here. But I recently started a mod where I don't need the chest anymore, so I'll show you guys that. I added a back door because I'm constantly going to the smeltery right here. Um, this, if you'll notice, I have a chicken egg in my inventory. Which otherwise you can't get without cheating, but here's how I got it. Step through right here. There's a little tiny community village right here. And these guys for gold, so everything you pretty much need to get started. Redstone stuff, cloth trader, so pretty cool. I don't know if their trades respawn because they are limited, like it says available here. Um, very, very cool. So I'm keeping that in my portal for now. Um, my tools, done a little bit more work there. Now, in here, this room's going to look a lot different to you guys now. This is all just raw ores. I haven't processed it yet. I've got my machine set up here. Um, these are from Ender.io, one of the main processing mods. I need that iron right there. we got a sag mill, which is just grind stuff down. A painting machine, which I'll show you why I use that in a second. The pulverizer and redstone furnace. I had that before. Pretty much just doubles your ears. This is from Applied Energistics. So to find these, or to use these, you have to find these presses. There's four different ones. And to find those, you have to go out into the world, and there are giant craters. And you got to mine through the craters. They're very hard to mine through, uh, but you get these. 
can use these for I'll show you in a second as well. Uh, we've got an induction smelter which combines the units. This with charges and jetpack and the magnet here. These transfers fluid which is used for higher tier machines. These are two different types of sawmills. I was just testing around with those. Um, for those some wood in the sawmill and you get instead of four planks. Now if you look here, there's no wires except for in the window. Um, so I'll explain that. This is what I wanted to show you guys. This is a ply logistics right here. So all those chests I have, I filled them up and I was running out of them. So what this is, it's basically a computer in Minecraft where you turn your items into data that you store on hard drives and keep them here. These are all different hard drives. Got a good stack right here. All you do is click on this, and that has all of your items. So very cool. Let me turn on that water real quick. We'll do that for now. So very, very cool in there. Um, another cool aspect of it is you can craft pretty much anything. See, I need more carpenter's blocks. Um, and we have it over here, a carpenter. I'm typing with one hand. Okay. Click it. You can craft as many as you want and dump it right back in there. So it's very, very good for quick crafting recipes. Um, this was for a pistol I made that's not a very good gun. Nothing, you didn't miss anything special there. Um, so that's that. That took a lot of work setting that up, but it was very much worth it. And now I've dumped so much stuff in there, I can't even touch it. And I've got room for a lot more. Um, over here, to free up some room on the hard drives, I put all the tools that I would need. In case I die, I spawn right here, grab what I need, and go get my stuff. And I died one more time since last time. I added a mod in here called Infernal Mobs where certain mobs have a chance to be extremely tough like creepers for instance can throw potions, they can be invisible, teleport, hit you with wither, they can do whatever. I mean that's all mobs. Now down here, I don't know if I showed you guys this last time but I um, pretty this up a little bit, made it an elevator so you can get to the bottom super fast and to the top. I think I showed you guys that last time. Now out here I've done a little bit of work. Let's start over here first. This looks like nothing to you yet, but what this is going to be is a extremely high capacity mob spawner. Um, I'm going to raise everything up to this level right here. This is going to be floor number two. Now up here there's this mod called Open Blocks. Let me pull it up here. Open Blocks adds this thing called, or extra utilities, adds something called Cursed Earth. This block, you can see here, is a dark area. It will spawn mobs at a much faster rate and with no regard to the player's proximity. So I don't have to be near it for it to spawn mobs. Um, tons and tons of mobs spawn from these. And to get this, you have to lay down an enchanting table, surround it with redstone, and kill a mob on top of that at midnight. So I did that, and I harvested all the cursed earth that I would ever need. And so we're going to make this into a super mob farm. So basically, they're going to be up here. I'm going to have fans from open blocks blow them. Fans can push mobs, blow them right here into the middle. And in the middle here, they're going to get pushed to the edges and killed. And on the edges, I'm going to have an item collection system, which pumps out all the drops and puts them somewhere. So anything that can spawn in the regular dark world like witches, endermen, creepers, spiders, zombies, skeletons, whatever, they can all spawn on the cursed earth. So that's going to be very, very good. And I'm going to make this building look nice. Over here, I just recently added this and it's already almost full. Um, I added an automatic tree farm where tree gets planted by a machine underneath here. We can actually fly down and look at it. That guy right there. Actually, let me sleep real quick. 
Woo! So you guys can actually see the world. Do we have any bones? We don't have bones. Okay, there's a tree. Look at that. The tree is just devoured and put into here. So very, very cool there. All the wood I would need. I need a lot of wood for that. Now finally, um, as you guys remember over here, I had this water mill powering my base. That wasn't enough power for all that I had running there. You saw all those machines. Oh, I didn't show how I had them hooked up. I'll do that real quick. So let's take this conduit for instance. Over here, you can see that I have all these power lines run through my wall. But if I don't have a pipe in my hand, you don't see it. It looks normal. So very, very cool. That's what that painting machine does down there. Um, makes it where you can paint a block to put over these cables. So it you it kind of hides the appearance of them. So very, very cool. Now, as I was saying, I ran out of power with that. I wasn't running out of power, but it wasn't quick enough to charge my jetpack and all. So I added this. I'm going to move that cable so it doesn't look as ugly. But this is awesome. Uh, what this is, is six water mills, three thick each and all powered by a water up here. So this is the only blocks. So this pours down, we'll just follow it to right here, which falls down to right there, which spins all those water mills. And I made this into a little river of sorts so it doesn't look too crazy. I'm gonna make that look a little bit more fancy, but that is awesome. Um, you know, it's giving me plenty of power, enough to run my base here and run this tree farm which is so nice to just sit back and watch and I'm gonna be done very soon I can't believe it goes up that high that's pretty sweet um, real quick here I'm gonna craft a cache So you guys can see how the crafting thing works. Now a cache is a better version of these barrels. Holds one item, so let's do that. Just to show you how easy it is. Um, how do you make this one? Okay, so let's do this real quick. Boom, got that. This, we need Envar. Okay, so let's make some Envar real quick. Ah, Envar. It's going to be two iron and one ferrous. Iron. See? Just do this. Grab what you need. Put those back for now. Ferrous. There we go. Actually, let's make some more of those than that. Now, if my phone goes off, I'm waiting on a phone call so I may cut here very randomly this is what this does combines it into Envar so I'm gonna make two caches make one more of these real quick boom roasted do this okay I don't think I can make this one yet do I have fused quartz or hardened glass? Oh, I can. Okay, let's do it. Boom, roasted. Now I can't go higher than that. There we go. So what we'll do out here real quick is we will chop. I don't care if I lose some here. I have so much wood. Okay, we gotta actually click on it with wood though. I'll just spam it in there. I 
Um, let's grab it. Why not? Okay. And this is going to take a long time to fill up. And then this one here seems to be fine. So we won't worry about upgrading that one yet. But we'll have it for later. So there's that. That's how everything's going so far. I really like the water mill. It's going to look awesome once I get it all prettied up. Um, but we're working on that. And then this I have huge plans for. This should get me all the mob drops I need. What I really need is zombie flesh. Because you can turn that into leather. Which you need in leather for a lot of recipes. Um, so that's how things are going here. With the base. I'll work on finishing the roof finally here. I'm going to work on making this look a lot better. This is just temporary. I sat in here and AFK'd a little bit. Just trying to uh, get drops. And I got a ton. And again, look at all these bags. Let's just open one here. Got another portal gun. All we could ever need. So very, very cool. That just looks awesome. Now I'm going to check the power again real quick. Because this is still relatively new. Oh, we are running out of power. Okay. So now you see we do have a problem here. Um, hmm. For now, let's fix it a cheap way. Let's do this. Now, can this burn a block of charcoal? Let's find out. It can. Okay. So I don't care that I wasted that. Let me clean up my inventory real quick. See how nice this is, guys? Look at this. Just dump it all in here. We'll find it later. Okay, and the chicken egg. So let's make some blocks of charcoal real quick. Okay, like this. Let me do this just to make it quicker. All right. Quick crafting with Mikey. Okay. Wow, that came out to four stacks even. How in the world did that happen? So for now, just so we can recover on power, I'm going to set this right here. And this should transmit and then no it's not. Nope. Don't stop. Believe in. Um, let's go get a power cable real quick. Just to show you how easy this is, just type energy. Energy. Bam. Now what we can do here, since power comes out of the side, is we'll come back here. Oh, whoa. Wrong one anyway. Right here. Okay. Slap this bad boy right here. Dump the block of charcoal in. Extract. Insert. Now, change this to the back of the machine is input. So this one's probably filling up as why it's 12 RF a tick. Okay, that's much better. 
So we're making profit there. We just got to keep this guy full for now. So what we'll do is we will actually take this hopper. It's not connected to anything. Where's my magnet? Boop. Cool. Okay, go down here. And we got about, let's see, 11 days till Fallout comes out, guys. Pretty awesome. Now what I'm going to eventually do is make solar panels, put them up right on the roof, and then we'll make an energy tesseract, which, which that does, what that does is it'll transfer energy without cables. So we'll have it up here, and we'll fire energy down to some central point down here so that I can get power to whatever part of my base I need without too much effort. Let me go to sleep real quick. Now I can't think of much else I've done here. I've done quite a bit of mining. I got another zombie trophy. That's probably pretty much it lately. I played a little bit of Rocket League. I got the DeLorean the DLC, the car from Back to the Future. So that's pretty awesome. Now there's a way. Probably need to do a better generator than that. But what we'll do is we'll have the wood that we have here. Because we're getting way more than we need. We'll have that broken down into fuel, extra wood, to power this, kind of self-sustain it. But eventually, again, solar panels all the way. Oh, another thing I made is this builder's wand here. Let me show you guys that. Let me show you guys that real quick. So let's go over here and get some carpenter's ramps. Um, let's make some more. So what this does, because I want this to be kind of a different shape, so we pop these in the corner right here, and it's a pain to do this one by one because they always mess up at some point. Let me try to do this without messing up. See? Just like that. Even though I'm clicking it in the same spot every time. Almost done with this anyway. See? Messed up again. And again. And so it got infuriating. So now it's a smooth edge all the way around. Now what I would do here, because I want the, I don't want just a smooth edge on the bottom, of course. I want to raise that up. So I'd go right here. Boom. Click the builder's one right here. Boom. Everything gets raised up. Easy as that, guys. And now this wall's too high. So all you gotta do is really lay the bottom row of it, and then the top row does itself. And just missed one right here. Easy as that. And so that's gonna be the plan all the way up here. There's not really gonna be much back here, I just kinda wanted to walk away. This is going to be a solid block, most likely. So we're going to probably make this windows. Make it look like a nice, tall glass tower. But 
But yeah, once I finish this, I'm going to try to finish this tonight, actually. Um, so that's going to be awesome. And all the drops we would ever need. This is actually getting pretty busy. Is this still working? Oh, it's not. No work being done. See? Work. None. Now, why would that be the case? How is the power doing? Probably fully recovered now. All right. Hmm. This is draining really rapidly. Oh, they're gone. Come up here and they're gone. Yep, work. See, when it pulses like that, it's doing work. Maybe the power depleted. Nope, we're gaining power again. I don't know what happened. Was that cooking something up here? See, and even with that cool water mill, it's not enough power, so we'll get it figured out. We will figure it out. So that's what we're up to now. Um, what I just worked on was getting some cactus so I can make that pipe right there, the black one. Because the machine produces sludge, which is poisonous. And if you pump anything into that kind of pipe, it'll just delete it. So now what we're probably going to end up working on is this tower. <clears throat> I don't really want to bore everyone and do it all on camera because it's just going to be me building. I actually torn it down twice. And I settled on this kind of style, which should be fun. Will I have enough? Nope. I don't think so. Nope. Okay. But yeah, that's going to be cool. Let me show you the cursed earth. I got three stacks of it. Cursed. Yep. Now I do have this chest plate. I'm going to actually put that away. What I've been doing with these <clears throat> and other drops that I'm getting is just cooking it. Because it'll turn into iron itself. You can kind of break it back down. Yeah, I've done a lot of work here. Um, I might build that on camera. It'll probably be boring, but I'll do that as kind of a channel talky episode where I build and talk. So that should be fun. That's just so nice to watch, isn't it? And my little planter just fills everything in. Now let's make it, let's go ahead and do that furnace generator real quick. I think that produces more than what that other little crappy machine is. The diamond one. Now what does it take to make this? Oh, we got that right now. We don't have an iron block. Okay, let me make an iron block real quick. I'm running kind of low on resources, actually. Oh, put that right there. Now, does this do better? Um, let me get down there, please. 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 Now, if we take a block of charcoal, 40 RF per tick, but it burns for five minutes there. 
This is 160 RF per tick. That's actually very good. We won't worry about that yet. Sorry, I called it a crappy machine. It's actually a good machine. And something cool, you can click this X, puts all these items back in here into the storage for you. I know what we can do here just for a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and open up some of those bags. We have way too many that I know what to do with. I wish there was some kind of auto opening device. What? Why did that separate? Huh. Well, I don't want you then. Get off my mountain. Okay, let's open up this legendary one, okay? And we'll open up nine epic ones. Okay, splat axe. I don't still don't know what that does. An emerald. Ah, oh, we'll take another portal gun. Why not? Ah, oh, we'll take another one. And an overgrowth seed. Golden apple. That's free gold. Oh, you heard my phone there. Probably gotta go soon. Nothing in that bag. Another portal gun. We'll take it. Terrain eater. That's pretty cool. Another overgrowth. Ooh, a rare treasure. Implosion four. We'll take it. Empty map, nothing. Portal gun. And then the legendary bag. Where did that go? I'll probably open it. Oh well. Rare treasure. Sweet. So that's kind of cheaty, but I get so much. I don't even care. All right, let's dump this, and I think we'll call it an episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, taking the time out of your day to watch. And if you would leave a like, I'd appreciate it. I don't normally ask for likes, but I think that'd be pretty nice. So do it. Go ahead. Leave a like now. Um, now, go ahead. Go ahead, leave a like. If you're on a PC, just right under the video. Mobile, you gotta scroll down right under the video as well. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!